Hello everyone, welcome to Business School 101. Imagine you're the manager of a fast-growing company, faced with the decision of whether to launch a new product line. How do you make this decision? Do you rely on intuition, past experience, or something more concrete? In today's data-driven world, successful businesses increasingly turn to data analytics to guide their decisions. But what exactly is data analytics? What are the different types, its major applications, and how can it be implemented practically? In this video, I'll explore these questions with you. Section 1, Definition. Data analytics in management refers to the process of systematically collecting, processing, and analyzing data to inform and enhance decision-making within an organization. It involves using statistical tools, computational techniques, and data visualization to uncover patterns, trends, and insights from various types of data, such as sales figures, customer behavior, market trends, and operational efficiency. Section 2, Types. Genially, data analytics can be categorized into four main types. Type 1. Descriptive analytics. This type of analytics answers the question, what happened, by summarizing historical data. It's often the first step in data analysis, providing a clear picture of past performance. For example, a company might use descriptive analytics to generate monthly sales reports, showing how much of each product was sold and identifying trends over time. Type 2. Diagnostic analytics. Diagnostic analytics digs deeper into the data to answer, why did it happen? It helps identify the root causes of past performance by uncovering patterns and relationships. For example, if sales dropped in a particular region, diagnostic analytics might reveal that a competitor recently opened a store nearby, leading to a decrease in market share. Type 3. Predictive analytics. This type of analytics uses historical data and statistical models to predict future outcomes. It answers the question, what is likely to happen? For example, an e-commerce company might use predictive analytics to forecast future sales based on historical data, seasonal trends, and consumer behavior patterns. Type 4. Prescriptive analytics. Prescriptive analytics goes one step further by recommending actions based on the data. It answers the question, what should we do? For example, a logistics company might use prescriptive analytics to optimize delivery routes, reducing costs and improving delivery times based on traffic patterns and fuel prices. Section 3, Applications. Data analytics can be applied in management from several key perspectives. Number 1. Strategic planning and competitive analysis, data analytics helps managers monitor industry trends and competitor performance, enabling informed strategic decisions like market entry or product development. This allows businesses to anticipate market changes and maintain a competitive edge. For example, Amazon uses data analytics to analyze market trends and competitor strategies, enabling informed decisions on pricing, product offerings, and market expansion, maintaining its e-commerce dominance. Number 2. Sales forecasting and demand prediction. By analyzing historical sales data and market conditions, managers can accurately forecast demand, optimizing inventory and resource allocation. This reduces risks like overproduction or stockouts, leading to cost savings and better customer satisfaction. For example, Walmart leverages data analytics to predict customer demand, optimizing inventory levels and ensuring products are available when needed, reducing stockouts and excess inventory. Number 3. Customer relationship management, data analytics enables managers to segment customers and personalize marketing, improving customer retention and increasing lifetime value. Strong customer relationships result in higher loyalty and increased revenue. For example, Netflix analyzes user viewing habits to personalize content recommendations, increasing customer engagement and retention through tailored experiences. Number 4. Operational efficiency, managers use data analytics to identify and eliminate inefficiencies in operations, leading to streamlined processes, reduced costs, and improved productivity. Enhanced efficiency directly contributes to a company's bottom line. For example, UPS uses data analytics to optimize delivery routes, reducing costs and improving service reliability by analyzing traffic patterns and fuel consumption. Number 5. Risk management and compliance, data analytics helps managers identify and mitigate risks, such as fraud or regulatory issues, ensuring compliance and protecting the business from potential financial losses and reputational harm. For example, JP Morgan Chase employs data analytics to detect fraud by analyzing transaction patterns, quickly responding to anomalies to protect customers and minimize losses. Section 4, Strategies 
To effectively implement data analytics in your business, consider the following steps. Step 1. Define clear objectives. Start by identifying the specific business questions you want to answer or the problems you want to solve. Clear objectives guide the data collection and analysis process. For example, if your goal is to improve customer retention, your data analytics efforts should focus on understanding customer behavior, identifying churn risks, and developing targeted retention strategies. Step 2. Collect relevant data. Gather data from various sources, including customer interactions, sales transactions, social media, and internal operations. The more relevant and comprehensive your data, the more accurate your analysis will be. For example, a retail business might collect data from point-of-sale systems, customer surveys, and online reviews to get a full picture of customer preferences and behavior. Step 3. Use the right tools and techniques. Leverage data analytics tools and software that suit your business needs, whether it's Excel for basic analysis, specialized software like Tableau for data visualization, or advanced tools like Python for predictive modeling. For example, a small business might start with simple tools like Google Analytics to track website traffic and customer behavior, gradually moving to more sophisticated tools as the business grows. Step 4. Interpret and act on insights. Analyze the data to uncover actionable insights and use these insights to guide your decisions. It's important not just to collect and analyze data but to apply the findings to improve your business outcomes. For example, if data shows that a particular product category is underperforming, consider whether to phase it out or invest in marketing to boost sales. Section 5, Summary To sum up, data analytics is a powerful tool that enables managers to make better, more informed decisions. By analyzing data, businesses can identify opportunities, mitigate risks, and optimize operations, leading to greater efficiency and success. Whether you're running a small business or managing a large corporation, leveraging data analytics can give you a competitive edge in today's data-driven world. Alright, that's all for today's topic. If you have any questions or thoughts about how data analytics can improve decision-making, feel free to leave a comment below. If you find this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching and see you next time.